five. The changes shorten the time voter registration groups have to turn in forms from 10 days to two. For each form turned in late, a $50 fine could be levied. It would also force volunteers to register with the state before signing up voters. Those changes have volume of women voters crying foul. That could be an undue burden for people who really do this as a labor of love, um, something that they are committed to as they kind of see it as their civic duty. Other changes include shortening early voting from two weeks to eight days and requiring voters who change their addresses less than 30 days before Election Day to cast provisional ballots. Controversy surrounding the changes has already reached Washington. A delegation of congressional Democrats sent this letter to the U.S. Justice Department calling for a review. The Justice Department responded with this letter saying it would carefully consider the changes to see if they violate the Voter Rights Act. Supporters of the changes say it's all about fraud prevention, but there's only been 31 reports of voter fraud in Florida since 2008, and in only four of those cases, arrest warrants were issued. In Tallahassee, Whitney Ray, WPTV News Channel 5. Besides third-party voter registration groups and supervisors of elections, Democrats oppose the bill. They say the changes would have a major impact on their votes because Democrats are more likely to vote early. They're also more likely to register to vote with a third-party registration group. Boca Raton Congressman Ted Deutsch is among the Florida Democrats who have asked the Justice Department to look at the new elections laws. Democrats say House Bill 1355 is, quote, in clear violation of the Voting Rights Act. If the governor signs the bill, Congressman Deutsch wants the Justice Department to step in. It puts too many impediments in the way of people exercising their right to vote, uh, and that's uh, it's bad policy, and I also think it violates the federal law. You can read the letter from 